This is where I was like, okay, he's really into me. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to do? What's going on guys? We're back with another video and today we, we are going on a family picnic. Okay. It is literally like so warm today. Like yeah. look at me. Shorts. I'm in shorts it's guys. It's our favorite time of the year. We packed, uh, you know, peanut butter sandwiches, people, peanut butter sandwiches and a blanket. Yeah, so. If you want to get a little cozy. Yeah, no. We officially or get back started in shape. a workout yesterday. Don't tell them that. Now we've got to stay committed. No, this is good. Uh. This will keep us committed. All right, you guys are our motivation. We because started I back. Passed, I passed her six week postpartum mark. So yep. um, I'm going to try and get back into working out get my, you know, old body back because this one's not doing good things. <laughs> we should have brought our soccer ball. Yeah, because I play soccer and everything. Actually, I love fun soccer. fact, Evan played on didn't you play on a soccer team growing my up? brother played on a soccer team growing up and i kind of illegally played on their team one time because they needed an extra player and i did score the very first soccer game i ever played i scored in it Pretty impressive. but we don't talk about that because it was illegal perfect spot all right let's set it all up all right got it set up that didn't take as long as i thought let's go through our lunch Peanut butter, water, water, honey, because she likes peanut butter and honey. Yes, I do. Two knives, and that's it. We came with a lot. Do you want to feel what the grass feels like? Oh, <gasps> can you, you do want that? to? Okay, she's excited. Come on. I can tell she's excited. she's excited. You guys, guys might not can tell because you're not here, <laughs> but she is excited. You ready? Yeah. Come Let's on. do that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay, what do you think? Oh. What do you think? That's the grass. Do you like it? Look at your little toes. Look at your little toes. Do you like the grass? Do you like the grass? <laughs> oh, she's sitting in the grass. Oh my goodness, we need a photo. That's the cutest thing ever. Wow. <laughs> I don't even look that cute when I sit in the I grass. I don't either. Did you love that? Did you love it? Okay. So, not only is this a picnic. Last video, some of you guys asked um, how we met, and we told you that we were going to do a video and see if we could like tell you the whole story. So here's the rundown. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn. Get your snacks. She's about to get on a roll. <gasps> the wind. I didn't account for wind. I just spilled honey. Let us pray. We both have slightly different versions of the story. So we'll just go back and forth, okay? So you interrupt me and I'll interrupt you. We're great at that. Okay, yeah, we do that already, so we're gonna be great at this, okay? We met her family probably nine years ago, something like that, nine to 10 years ago. They came to our church in Springfield, Tennessee, because her dad would go around preaching and their whole family would go around singing and stuff we like that. We attempted to sing. <laughs> no, it was great. So they came to our church, did their thing, and that's when we first met the family, okay? So Evan, I remember this she because she I do, me. I do remember this. Your sisters came up to our pew and they were talking to Tori and Alyssa and you were like this blue-eyed, short kid, like with blue braces. Yes, yes, I do remember this. You know, going through your teenage years. You had to say short. Go ahead. You grew up. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. And that's like the only like thing that I remember that whole visit. I was really young. I was like, what was that? I had to be like 13. I was like 16 when you were 13. But I'm yeah. the only thing I was she young. remembered from that visit. You just heard her say hey, that. Hey, I did remember other things too. I remember his mom because I thought she looked really classy. She's very classy. classy. And I remember that y'all had CDs. Like y'all sang. Mm -hmm. 
Because you're all like the singing family there. So we like felt like, oh, are you kidding me? They sang and we were like a bunch of nobodies trying to Whatever. sing. Whatever. We it was were not great. that good. So. Then time went on and. You want me to jump in here? Yeah. So time went on, a few years passed. We would visit like her dad's church, he was a pastor. If we were ever in Gatlinburg, we'd visit them or something. We'd see them every once in a while. Yeah, and all of those times, pretty much, I think it was like two or three times, I was actually out of town every time they came to visit. Yeah, missions trips and, and stuff I like was that. also in a relationship prior. I was like not interested in him yeah. at, like, because And at this point, she someone. was still a little bit younger than me. Yeah. And at that age, you know, I wasn't really thinking about that either. Also, funny story, actually someone even tried to set him up with my sister for a while because I was already like talking that's to someone. Story. Yeah, and that's hilarious. Like we, we look back and we laugh about it. It went on to where it really jumped straight to this. Yeah, my and church. what happened. A few more years, or a year or two passed. Yeah, I it was, uh, I believe September 17th, 2016. Yeah. My church was having a ladies' conference that they asked her mom to speak at. Yeah. Now, at this point, you know, it had been several years since we'd met them. She's grown up. She's probably like 18. Uh, yeah. 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 Eight, um, 18. We followed everybody on Instagram. I followed her. And at this point, I'm and like... And I had just gotten Instagram as well. And I had followed him and his sister, Kaylin. And I'll tell you why later. Right. So kind of key in the story. So I'm kind of like, man, this girl's gotten cute. I'll tell you that much. So I was like very attracted in the very pretty face type category. <laughs> and uh, so I knew that they'd be coming because her mom was speaking. And our church does something where they get a lot of the teenage guys to help some of the older guys in the church. And we serve the ladies at the ladies conference. So I was like, mm, I'm, I'm getting me on that guy's servant team. Okay, so. so this particular trip, um, I and some of my sisters weren't going to end up going. And yeah, and I minute, just assumed she'd be there. Yeah, last minute we ended up going because mom was like, oh, come on, it'll be great. It's a ladies' conference. Like, you might can, you know, hang out, meet friends, whatever. It was in between our, I want to say either midterms or yes. finals. Oh. It was midterms it was or finals. Big. It was something big. We were studying. So I was like, okay, we'll go. And in between sessions, like, we'll study in the back or something if, you know, there'll be time for us to study. I had my friend she braided me like uh, cornrows in the side of my head. I liked it. And I just like got this like new hairstyle and I thought it was so cool. And my sister, my older sister was like, oh, I didn't know if you should do that. Cause she was like, uh, it's like super like classy and everybody's in heels and super fancy or whatnot. She thought the cornrows like, or whatever you want to call it looked a little casual. Yeah, casual. So I said, oh my goodness, I like love them. So I'm doing them. <laughs> So I was like, here's the deal. I said, if I get like 10 compliments on it, I'll know that I made the right decision. And she was like, okay, deal, yada, yada. It was literally like a fun, like, sister competition. We showed up to the banquet. Yes. Now, at this and... point, I am there serving with the guys. I mean, I'm expecting her. I guess I really don't know if she's showing up. I just assumed, like, that all the girls would come with her. Come together. So I'm there serving with the guys. And I look up in the cafeteria at South Haven Baptist Church in Springfield, Tennessee, and I see the most gorgeous Aww, brownish blondish. Yeah, brownish I had my hair at this point. dyed at this point. Brownish really blondish blonde. haired girl walk in. Brown skirt, white blouse. Yep. I still remember it. Yeah. And I see her and I'm like, man, she is so cute, like from afar. And I'm the kind of guy, like, I'll talk to anybody, but if I think you're cute, mm, I, I get like all, I can't say anything. <laughs> So I didn't say anything. This is so I start funny. walking this by so with all funny. the trays of food. They're still standing like in the foyer area of the cafeteria because everybody's greeting. Okay, them, so of his course. family had come up and said hi. Yeah, because we knew every them. Every single person but him. Yeah, like and we weren't strangers. Here. We knew the family, but now I just thought she was pretty. It was and so, so funny. Was like, so he kept walking back and forth and back and forth, and like it was obvious to me. I was like. Like, he would, like, turn red when he came near me and stuff. Well, he was just, like, super awkward and wouldn't say hi. So Well, and time out. For all the people that are going to fuss and be like, sounds like Evan only liked her because she's pretty. That's so shallow. Uh, at this point, y'all, yes. Okay? <laughs> I had not talked to her much, like, ever. You're so I didn't so know sweet. her personality or her Christianity. I just hope she was a good Christian and hope she had a good personality. <laughs> but I saw that face that I was like, I got to find out. You know what I'm saying? So Wow, he is so sweet. So throwing guys. that out there. You want me to take Anyways, her? yeah. I'm on number two, so I'll let her yeah. eat number one. Okay, so finally, we're all sitting there, and I'm like, like this is 
crazy. Like it's obvious he keeps walking back toward. So I'm gonna be like the super. I don't know where this confidence came from. And but I'm walking I was by. Like, I'm walking by with a tray of cinnamon rolls. Yeah, and, I and set I'm down. like, and I'm like. Well, hey stranger, hey, stranger. Aren't, aren't you gonna, gonna say, say hey? hey? I still remember. Or like what, you know? And and he's like, uh, uh. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, how's hey. It, how's it going? So really, she In said it first, y'all. She flirted and she just okay, like. Okay, I don't know where the confidence mm. came from because it was not that. I know before. where the confidence came from. It wasn't confidence because she didn't care. Jumped to the part it's of the like story where she told me that okay, wait, she wait, wasn't wait, wait. flirting with me this. the whole weekend. <laughs> Guys, it was weird. I don't even know. After I said it, I feel like, whoa, in my head, like all these things are running through my head. Okay, that was super like confident. Where'd that come from? And I'd remembered that I had followed him on Instagram before, but I had just gotten Instagram and I thought that Instagram like notified him if you like unsubscribed unfollowed. or unfollowed. She only followed me for dub smash. If some yes. of you guys remember that, because I made funny dub smashes, so they she said they were hilarious. hilarious. Then I stopped I making them. My head off. So that was her excuse for unfollowing me. So literally, the next sentence out of my mouth was, "I unfollowed you on Instagram." And, and I'm like, like, "Wow, shot down." You're just kind of like, "Okay," and I'm like, "You stop." posting funny videos so whatever and he was like oh so if i start back posting funny videos will you follow me back wow we were I like did. the I most the flirty flirts. people ever what in the world i was like well i'll start making funny videos then <laughs> yeah and i was like well then i'll follow you back but yeah i didn't tell him the really good part the really good part was i went to throw away my stuff in the trash can and evan i must have broke the ice that conversation must have did it for him because when I went to throw away something, you were throwing away something. You came up behind me to throw away something. And you were like, I like your like braid thing. And he was, and I was like, oh really? This is no coincidence. But that was the tenth compliment that day on my hair. I was number and ten, was like, and she told her sister if I get ten compliments, you know, all that. So yeah, that was I pretty that funny. Was really cool. So yada but yada, fast forward. The rest of that day, she was just studying while they were doing the classes and stuff. So we talked on and off, whatnot. But since we knew the family, um, our church, the ones that were kind of in charge of the ladies' conference, they asked my family to take them out to dinner that night. So we went to our local Japanese place, which we went to all the time when we were dating. Yeah. So that was our first dinner date, Japanese. Well, uh, not a date. Not a date. To me, it was. <laughs> so that was our That's first. That's when my sister Erin, mm -hmm. like, really pushed it and was like, the first one was like, oh, you should, like, date this guy. We're sitting at the table. She asked, Evan, what did she say? She was like, you're single, right, Evan? And I was, and he was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And she's like, well, Carlin is too, because she just got dumped. So, yeah, like, Aaron was so straightforward. And, and then I she was like, like, oh, and then someone asked Evan to pray. And I'm under the table, like, pinching. They're like pinching each other off. and laughing like, during my prayer. I'm thinking this is so embarrassing. But then that was pretty much the night. We actually drove back to the hotel and sat in the lobby and Did talked Dude, I have for a, a photo of that because Josie was there too. And she was like taking photos, my sister. And then Sunday morning. It was not. He Sunday, didn't say I flirted big. I did not. Sunday morning. It did not even register in my mind. Sunday morning is the big deal. Um, I actually oh. led the singing in our junior church. Well, there's so many so details, y'all. I meet them They're early that morning in the foyer, and that already makes me feel like we're practically like a couple um, because they asked me to take them to Sunday school class, so I sat back Who and asked waited. You? I don't know, maybe I volunteered. I don't I'm pretty sure he volunteered. And so I found them in the lobby, walked them to our Sunday school class, and then after that I was like, well, I've got junior church, so I won't be able to sit in the service, um, so I'll probably see y'all afterwards. And she says, her dad's the guest speaker at our church. And this little flirt right I here did not. said, okay, well, if you happen to get out early or something, I'll save you a seat. No, I said we'll save no. you a seat. And she tells me to this I day, did. she said, I, I didn't did even not. flirt with you that weekend. And I'm like, well, <laughs> then honey, I don't know because I should have thought you were. Okay, I was young and naive. So, Who knows? Needless to say, I did get out of junior church early somehow and I snuck in and I sat beside her. Yeah, he oh, did. it was so cool. Yeah, uh, and you were in that blue, like, sparkly suit jacket thing that you love to wear. That one, she didn't like it, but I didn't. No, I didn't. After Sunday, this is after where Sunday the morning funny service, part went. some of them ended up at our house. This to hang is out. where I was like, okay, he's really into me. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, what she in starts the world? getting nervous because okay. she was like, not wanting to Because a at this point, I did not want a relationship. All of his family is bragging on his car tricks. So Evan actually loves to do like little magic card tricks all the time. 
And it's so funny because he pulled out his card tricks to show me. And this was him doing the card trick. My hands hey, shake when I get nervous. Pick a card because so I was he was very so nervous. nervous. He was so nervous. It was the cutest thing ever. But it was so cute. Like I still remember it in my mind. I could play it, play it back. We got in the car, we rode with them back to church, and it wasn't just him either, guys. It wasn't just me hanging out with him. It was like a group, like his sisters. Chaperones, Yeah, of he has four sisters. It was not even chaperones yet. Dude, That's I how, barely knew you. That's how it was to me. No, and so. I we, was like looking at him like, we, hey, are y'all gonna be in our wedding? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I rode with his family back to church with my other sister, I think Josie and maybe someone else was with us. And we get to the church, and one of his sisters told me that Evan writes songs. And Evan, and she told Evan to sing some of them. And Evan sang some of the songs. And so, in other words, my like, sisters were helping me. When he sang the song that he wrote, it was like, I'm in love, man. That was like. Music yeah. speaks to girls, guys. I don't care if you can't <laughs> sing, can't play guitar. I don't play any instruments. It I do everything a cappella when I'm just messing around. It was but music really speaks good. to girls. It was really good. And then we went to church. Oh, and we went into church, and this is how he got my number. I was like, oh, send me a recording of that song because I thought it was she really good. She walked right into it. Yada, yada. That's how the man got my number. The rest of it is kind of like history. To be honest, it was such a God thing in my life because I was going through a lot in my life and, I, and really like learning to lean on Jesus trust him so when I was completely like trusting in the Lord and like actually letting him have like full control in that area and other areas of my life it was like he showed up and walked on the scene and he was like this like perfect knight in shining armor in my life so pretty much September 17th from then on has not a day gone by that I have not talked to her or texted her anyways we dated for like three years we got engaged and then we got married we have our little baby girl Layla Ray now and yeah the rest is history and we can't wait to see what the future holds so Anyways, we hope you guys like yeah that. if you're still watching way to go you you're the true supporters you're the true stew crew we're kind and of the stew crew but you guys are like our crew so you're kind of the stew crew yeah we're all so, kind of the stew crew so thanks to my other family out there sticking with us and I hope you enjoyed seeing Layla's first time in the grass. It's so cute. Now that she's out of it, she sleeps like a ton. And our little picnic. So, love you guys. Really, really love you guys. Well, that was deep. Well, I thought they should it's know. It's probably since we're talking about all this lovey stuff. Yeah, I you thought they should love know. people. Love right. to all and to all a good night. That's right. If you want to see our latest video, click right there. And if you want to subscribe, click right there. And uh, yeah, if you want to see another video, click right there. <laughs> we'll see if that Spice works out all. after I add those in later. <laughs> we will see you next week. Bye.